Hi, what's up everybody? Shifty3 Plays, and welcome back to the Emperor's New Groove on the PlayStation. We finished up the city, one of the best levels in the game, and now we are going deep into the catacombs. Now this area actually has five chapters, which actually I believe is the only level in the game that has five chapters. So here we go with chapter one, we have 35 coins. Now this is going to be a pretty interesting first chapter here because we're not going to be moving around with Cusco. We're going to be moving around with Cusco and Pacha on a roller coaster, believe it or not. So here we go. Cusco, line up with the corners and I'll bet they'll automatically turn us around. Alright, so now this is kind of an annoying um, type of chapter. So all we can do here is move Pacha and Cusco um, on this roller coaster here. And it's kind of hard to collect all the coins. So you have you have those um, yellow arrows which uh, boost your speed, and then you have these blue uh, corner arrows to uh, change your uh, direction here. Also, those doors. Also, um, we have these little uh, jumping pads right here. Also, there's our wampy. Oh darn it! Yeah. The good thing about these levels, these chapters, is that you don't lose any wampies or health at all. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we don't lose any health at all. So, fortunately, they've uh, dropped that in favor of allowing you to um, get through this whole chapter here. So I'm going to see if I can get all the coins in this chapter. It should be kind of easy, because we're not going to lose any health and whatnot. I will say this kind of chapter is really fun. You know, it's riding a roller it's, it's riding a roller coaster, folks. Okay, so now we also have also these. These uh, reverse your uh, direction. Uh, when you get to a corner instead of arrows, though, you uh, go back to facing Whoa. forward. Though. Whoa. Here we go. Oh wait! Shoot! Shoot! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Darn it, darn it. I missed that one coin. Okay, let's go ahead and save. Alright, I cannot believe I missed that one coin. Okay, that coin uh, notwithstanding, we're now going to chapter 2, and so now we're going to finally be able to take control of Cusco here and do our usual set of moves. So let's get our little preview here. So here we have a hundred coins. We also um, have this cool kind of underground music here. Uh, the atmosphere is kind of dark a little bit. You know, we've got walls that are of stone, and also we've got moving blocks, and also some fire, which is kind of a new kind of enemy in this game. Also, swinging pendulums which have skull faces on them. This is a very dangerous area indeed. So, let's see what we can do here. We have Cusco. Let's go ahead and talk to Pacha here. Whew, that was quite a ride. I'm gonna have to rest here to recover. Yeah, yeah. I'll do all the work, as usual. Yes. All the work as usual. Yeah. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look around here first of all. Yeah, uh, just catching my breath. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Yeah, he says that if you talk to Pacha, um, there's quite a few times in this uh, level where he'll just say that. Yeah, uh, just catching my breath. Also, whoa. Barely dodge it. Um, if we go down here, we have this little charge booster and a door here. And this is our secret. So if we take a look around here, we can see that we have kind of a path right here. Checkpoint. Now this thing right here about the fire, this block here will rotate and one side which shows Eastman and the other side shows uh, fire. So you just want to jump uh, when it shows the non-fire side and then progress. Also these moving blocks, kind of reminiscent of the ones in that one desert level in uh, Super Mario 64. Uh, except we're not in the desert here. Also this platform here will 
um, flip around, and one side is flat, the other side has a set of spikes on it. You can jump on the side which has spikes on it, but just not on top of the spikes itself, but we're just going to go ahead and jump on the flat side for now. And here we have these swinging skull pendulums. Same, they're just the same as the uh, pendulums in the city, except they have skulls oh, on them. He's my wompy. And there's our wampy for the level, so if we jump charge here, we end up right back at the beginning where we left off. So, let's wait for this platform here. Let's have a look see. So yeah, the catacombs, uh, it's a pretty, uh, pretty cool level. Um, it has five chapters, which is the longest, which is one of the longest levels in the game. Let's go ahead and jump here one more time. That was close. Actually, look at that face there. It looks like the Cheshire Cat. I don't know. I don't even know if that was intentional or not. You know, because this is a Disney movie, and you know, Alice in Wonderland is a Disney film. Checkpoint. Well, the animated version. Okay, so now we have another one of these spike platform things. I'll show you what happens if you um, have the, si the uh, spike side up. So you can jump on that side, just don't touch the spikes. Okay, so let's. Uh, Go over this way. You can see some health replenishers over there in the distance. Let's go ahead and jump on this platform here. And this is another secret. This is just like um, the other secrets with the Wompies. Straight up platforming right here. Unfortunately, no coins come out of this. Um, but it's a secret anyway, so let's see. Let's go this way. You know what, actually, hold on, I think I might be missing something. Hang on, just one second, folks. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens if you uh, do that. Also, look at this. I never even showed this off. This is where we... Um, that was the roller coaster, which we just rode. Okay, so let's go ahead and head back to where we were. Okay, so there weren't any coins over there, so let's go ahead and head on through here. We get some new music here. Checkpoint. We also have a coin right over here. Out of my way. I do commend the composers for the uh, music for this game. Also, we have a really slow moving pendulum here, so you want to be careful uh, maneuvering Cusco around these. Get a little health replenisher yeah, there. Also, it's interesting that the doors here to the next uh, areas, you can see like right around them, it's just like bear, like, air. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Okay, then we have the underground music one more time. So let's go ahead and head this way. We have these moving platforms that go up and down, let's and we have, have some coins see. on top of them. So did let's we get all those? Nope, we only have uh, one left here. Okay, didn't Boom, get that another time. Yeah, these can be kind of tricky. You have to have just the right height to uh, collect this. There we go. We have ten coins. So now we have to wait for this platform here. It's kind of annoying having to uh, stand on moving platforms and just wait to get to your target here. I think we can do this, though. Hmm. Okay, can we do this? There we go. Oh, but unfortunately it caused us to fall down. And we're way back here. That sucks. Okay, so now we're back here. And we have to wait yet again. See, this is kind of an annoying part where you have to just wait for these uh, platforms, which move rather slowly, I'll admit that. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Just do a jump charge. And then we have a yet another one. Also, we have some grapes there. Okay, did we get all the coins up there? Let's have a look. Yes, we did. Okay, let's take a look around for one second. Those grapes that we collected, in this area, um, some places have these kind of flying bats. And you can um, yum, yum. actually hit them with your llama spit. And they'll be carrying coins usually. And you can see right there that we have a bat in the air. So let's go ahead and get rid of the scorpion first. And you can see the shadow of the coin right there. So let's, let's go ahead and look -see. fire our grapes at this bat here. OK. 
Okay. Hmm. Come on, wait for it. Okay, come on, any time now. Yeah, this can be a little tricky. There we go, finally. Alright. Let's go ahead and move forward. Now this block moves only two spots, so you want to do a jump charge here. And then jump that way. Okay, let's wait for the spike thing. Okay, now we have a timer switch here. So let's go ahead and get the checkpoint first of all. Checkpoint. And then... I think we can just step on this here. Yeah, we can just step on this here. Okay. Were there any other ones up here? I don't think so. Alright. Okay, so let's... Oh, we have a secret area down here. Okay, this is our third secret of the chapter here. Let's go ahead and go... Now let's go this. Let's go the other way. Okay, so we have another fire block here. And we have another one right here. You know, in a way, this sort of reminds me of the Lost World from uh, Sonic Adventure. You know, because there's like blocks and pendulums and, and fire. Because there was one area in that game where you had to kind of like use a, um, a mirror to guide your way through. In a way, this kind of reminds me of that level. Okay, so... This one's kind of short here. Alright, and we're through. Excellent. Okay, so now we have a platform over here, which we can get on. Oh, darn it. Yeah! And we're right here at the secret. Oh, well. No biggie. Let's have a look see. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. Sorry about that, folks. Hold on. There we go. Seems like they wanted you to do a jump charge there for some reason. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and hit the switch right here. So you can see that these platforms appear right here. It's plenty of time. So let's see, we have a guard down there with a red idol on it, so let's see. If we press the switch... Okay, it just makes us appear one more time. Alright. Oh wait, I didn't even get that checkpoint. Hold on. Checkpoint! Okay. We also have another secret down here. Okay, with a whole bunch of scorpions in it. Wow. Ow! Okay, let's go ahead. Okay. Haha! -ha! Double dip. Okay, so get a bit of a charge booster there. Llama coming through. Okay, looks like this area is full of uh, pendulums here. Okay, now this time that fire thing, um, the little round of uh, flames that came out, um, was longer than the previous ones. So yeah, these blocks, um, to make to, in order to kind of test your timing, they will go longer than. Then they have done. Okay, so that's it for the secret. And we are right... Wait, is this not done? Oh, it's not done. Alright, well, what do you know? This is actually a longer secret than normal. Also, it looks like you can stand in the middle of these that's to avoid the fires, but you don't want to do that. You just want to stay completely off the blocks. Also, we have um, a vertical swinging pendulum. This can actually get you by surprise. This has happened to me a lot of times before. But if you don't notice this um, pendulum swinging, swinging facing the other side, then it can be quite a disappointment. Also, we have this pendulum swinging in the line of the block here. All right, we made that. We made it through that. I think that's it. Yes, it is. All right. So if we do, if we, whoops. Oh, that was so close. If we get up over here, we get this guard here. Also, screw you. Get a gold coin and a red idol. So, is there, are there any bats up here? No, there are not. Okay. So, we are supposed to go this way. This has two let's idols, so... Let's see. Oh, I saw a bat, actually. Hold on. 
Okay, so we might have to be a little bit careful here, because if it drops it down in the abyss, then we have lost the coin for the rest of the level. So let's see if we can get this coin down here. Oh, I'm out of grape seeds. Darn it! Hey, Steve. All right, I need to get some more grape seeds. Hold on. You know what? Forget the grape seeds. Let's just go over this way. Can you remember how to charge jump using the charge and jump button? Uh, yeah, Tipo, I do remember that. Why? Um, no reason. <laughs> eh, no reason. Yeah, look, kid, stop following me around and fix me a sandwich, would you? I don't understand the word sandwich. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, really? You've got a lot to learn. Get your hair cut while you're at it, hippie. Oh, take that, hmm. Tebow. Take that. Check okay, point. so we're gonna go. We're going to forego that bat for a second. And we're gonna go ahead and do a charge dump here. So if we go through here, Check we get this music. Uh, what is it from? The mountains, I think. Yeah, from that one puzzle. This is the same music as that one puzzle um, with the. Uh, Platform raising thing. Okay, so now we have this uh, block here again. Okay, that's just to replenish your health. Okay, so let's kind of get away from the. Oops, that was close. Oh, that was so close. Yeah, now these these pendulums here swing really fast. So let's steer away from those and let's go this way. Let's have a look. Sometimes these platforms won't, when they lower down, they won't stop right at floor level. So you kind of, you so you're kind of required to do a uh, jump Out when you way. jump onto it. So we have some slow ones here. I do have to kind of wonder where they, whoever made these catacombs, I kind of have to wonder where they got all these pendulums and how they afforded them. I mean, is is there even any like currency in this game? be kind of interesting. Okay, so now this platform will just lower itself down here to the beginning. How convenient. And we can head back through. Okay, is there anything back here? No. Okay, charge jump. Checkpoint. And let's see. We don't have any grape seeds, so we're gonna have to uh we're gonna have to avoid this let's bat still. So. so let's see, let's go through this dial this uh, idle door here. Now, if I'm correct, what's behind here is... Oh, yep, that's right. You guessed it, we come face-to-face -face yet again with our... ...favorite fan. You'll never catch me! You're really gonna make me do this, aren't you? That's right. And actually, that's the same uh, dialogue. Oh, actually, yeah. Uh, this is a lot harder for some reason. That's the same dialogue from the very first encounter we had with him. You'll never catch me. You're really gonna make me do this, aren't you? It's the exact same. So I think they probably they like. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that they didn't have any new ideas for dialogue, so they just decided to use the same old dialogue from the very first encounter. So oh my gosh, yeah, this is a lot harder with these uh, in the, on this kind of pathway here. So let's see, we're almost up to him. So let's do some jumps. That'll help. There we go. Someday, I'll learn to stop time. Ha ha! So long, kid! Yep. Exact same dialogue we've heard Booyah. plenty of times before. Okay, just for the sake of making sure there are no coins and stuff around here, let's go ahead and walk around. Or actually charge and jump around. Okay, nothing it looks like it. So let's go ahead and head back out. We have two golden... Hmm. Oh, yeah, we have two. Alright, so let's see. Um, tell you what, I'm going to go hmm. ahead and get some more grape seeds so we can get this bat before we go into our next door here. Hmm. So hang on just one second, folks. Oh, what do you know? Right here we have a, a bat right here. Okay. Where is this hmm. back going? Okay, it's going way this way. There we go. Alright. Up to 46 coins. Let's go ahead and get the other bat. 
Let's have a look see. Okay, let's see if we can get this bat this time. Okay, there we go, finally. Okay, so now that this bat's been taken care of, hopefully we're all done with the bats, let's go ahead and go forward. That's gonna take some practice, that, that um, thing right there with the bats. Okay, so now we have this charge bar and then this uh, checkpoint here. Checkpoint. Yum, yum. Okay, so now we get to a rather interesting uh, little Let's section of this catacombs here. We've got, see those uh, blocks Let's right there? Look -see. Yeah, we got a big checkerboard field mm. here and these blocks with faces on them. So if we hop onto this field here... Hey, you're not allowed to play here! Yeah, they, somehow they talk and yet their mouths are frozen open. But yeah, so we got this kid block who says, We can't play here, we've intruded in their space. Listen, Rock Boy, I couldn't care less. I am the Emperor. Really? Oh, we are so scared. You can see that they're not buying it. You're cruising for a bruising, Blockhead. Like you even know how to hit us. <laughs> oh, we'll see about that. Oh, we'll see about that. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, we've intruded on- whoa. Wow. Just, wow. <gasps> So we've intruded, as I was explaining, we've intruded in their uh, play area here, and they're gonna chase after us, and you know, because they think that you know way. they're better than us. So what we have to do is basically charge into them and knock them off the area. It's as easy as A, B, A. Actually, it's easy as C, B, A, folks. It's easy as C, B, A. I did it in the wrong way. order. Okay. There we go. That's what you get when you mess with the Emperor! Okay. Now you may think that we're done here, but we're actually not, because... What have you done with my kids? <laughs> this big boss, this big block comes up saying, What have you done with my kids? So, yeah, he's basically the parent of those three uh, inanimate blocks. And he's going to be spitting out these uh, boulders here, including some red ones. So, um, I think you're supposed to knock the blue, the uh, black ones here into the block here. Okay. And if you touch them, I do believe they, um, if you do, yeah. <laughs> if you stand by them when they explode, it, you do take health from that. I think also if you touch them, I think the red ones, if you touch them, then they um, explode right away. Okay, can you try this? Okay, there we go. Whoa, that was like super close. All right, so yeah, if we just do that, then he'll take a bit of uh, damage there, and then we just we just have to do it a couple more times, and then we've defeated him. So one more hit should do the trick. Okay, there we go. Oh come on, really? There we go. It just makes it the more hilarious how his mouth doesn't even move. Complete with this, uh, Narmy acting. Oh yeah, I'm a big, bad, rumbling lump of rock, and I'm gonna flatten you. Not today, pal. And of course, that causes him to split up in two, and we get a red idol out of it. And, you know, we basically killed him. Let's have a look-see. Easy as CBA. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and move Out forward here. Way. Let's see, we have a lot more coins to get, so we're not quite done yet. So we go through here. We get this area. Checkpoint. Now you can see here we have Pacha, and that's the exit. Ah, there you are. What took you so long? <laughs> Stop it, you're so funny. Alright, now move it, Chunkster. Alright, so we don't want to go through here yet. If you do go here, it will trigger the end of the level, so Let's we're not going to do it quite yet. So we have these coins right here. We're up to 70 coins now. Now you can see that we have these two areas, one to the left, one to the right. Let's go ahead and take the left pathway first. 
<laughs> yeah, you might, well, you might as well do a charge dump there. And look at that, we've all gotten our full health. So yeah, this is kind of a cool little puzzle. You want to do, um, I think you want to do some uh, karate jump kicks and not fail like that. You want to do um, these karate jump kicks and then you want to land on these platforms here. And they all contain coins, and there's one gold coin as you just saw right there. So when you're doing a diagonal karate jump kick, you just you want to go to the diagonal corner here of the platform and then jump. And the good thing is you don't have to backtrack when you do these. So if you do just a single jump right there, we get one more secret. We're to four secrets now. And then if we collect that, we get magically transported right back to the beginning here. How convenient of a game to do that. So now this puzzle is a little bit trickier. We have our skull pendulums here. You actually want to do some charge jumps this time. Okay, I don't know why I did that. I really don't know why I did that. Let's try this one more time. Okay, so we want to do a charge jump there. Okay, fast forward time. Okay, there we go. And then one more charge jump over here. Oh my gosh! Okay, there we go, finally. That should not have happened. And that shouldn't have happened either. Alright, before we try to go over there, let's uh, touch this health plunger thing. So yeah, you can see that those pendulums there, we want to avoid those. So let's go ahead and charge jump. And we have to wait for this, the pendulum to swing by. So if we do that, we get a gold coin there. And then we get this coin right here. And then you can see we have a gold coin over there. That means we will have... Yeah! One hundred percent of the level! Booyah! Yeah! Yeah, I don't care about that. We have 100% of this level, excellente. Let's go ahead and talk to Pacha one more time. Yeah, uh, just catching my breath. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, as I told you earlier, he says the exact same uh, dialogue there um, a couple times in this chat, in this uh, level. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through. We don't have to even go back. And we've gotten all of our secrets. Excellent job. So we're going to go ahead and stop right here, actually, and then in the next part, Chapter 3, we're going to see what the Catacombs has uh, in store for us. So until the next part, this is 53 Plays saying have a good day, and we will see you in the next chapter of the Catacombs. See you then.